welcome back to my channel and happy Valentine's Day in advance. So in today's video, we are going to be doing this makeup look right here. And I am so privileged to be collabing with a fellow YouTuber who I have adored for many, many years. And she is none other than Osa from Living With Osa. And I'm sure you definitely know who she is if you're into natural hair, if you're into motivational speaking, if you're into encouragement and like self-awareness, you definitely know about her. And if you're visiting my channel from her channel. Hi, my name is Ngazi and I make beauty, hair, home decor, lifestyle videos, and a little bit of fashion on my channel. And so you're definitely most welcome and I hope you'll subscribe and stick around and see what I have to offer. When Osa contacted me and said, Ngazi, do you want to do a collab? I felt overly privileged because this is a woman, a fellow Nigerian that I look up to and I like, absolutely love her work. In fact, I mentioned her in my honorary mentions for my favorite YouTubers of 2000. 16 and when she reached out to me I just felt really privileged and I had to honor her and I, I'm, I'm thrilled so we decided to do a Valentine's Day a makeup look for obviously women of color and this is the look that I came up with I wanted it to be something very cool toned like a cool toned face very clean skin and I decided to pair it with somewhat of a playful colorful lip I was kind of torn between something like this or going darker with something like max cyber I may take this off and at the end of the video and show you what it looks like. I too am interested to see what this look looks like with a really dark lip. So when you head on over to Osa's channel, please let her know that Angie sent you. Leave her an emoji or something. And without further ado, let's jump into this makeup tutorial. Okay, sisters, this is my first voiceover makeup tutorial, so please bear with me. I'm starting out with my face already primed and my eyebrows done using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the color chocolate. I color corrected using the orange corrector by LA Girl, and my foundation of choice for today is the L'Oreal Infallible pro matte foundation in the color coco i like to spritz my face with a little bit of some max Fix plus just to loosen up some of the foundation for my highlight today i'm using again the la girl pro concealer in the color fawn and for my cream contour the black radiance contour stick in the color dark taking a damp real technique sponge and blending out my highlight and i prefer to use a brush to blend out my contour just to be sure I don't have any crazy lines remaining on my face afterwards. So after all that's so well blended out, I like to set all of my cream concealer with the Sasha Buttercup and I apply it uh, to all the areas that we just highlighted and I also use it to carve out my contour to really make it define. Immediately after placing it, I do remove it because otherwise I end up looking really powdery and cakey and nobody wants that. To set my contour, I am using the Shea Moisture mineral bronzer in the color mandalay dust this is one of my favorite contour colors because it, it's a beautiful brown without being too red and a, just a hint of shimmer moving on to the eyes I'm using the elf primer to prime my eyes so because I wanted this look to be really cool toned I needed a transition color that didn't have too much red or orange in it so for this look I'm using raw sienna in the Anastasia Beverly Hills modern renaissance palette and I'm just packing that all over the crease using a Sigma 224 brush then for my main lid color I'm using a beautiful purpley gray color it's called last dance and this is by makeup geek and I'm really taking my time here to really blend it in as much as possible I took that same 224 brush with no additional product and just really blended it well to deepen that last dance I took another makeup geek shadow and this is called drama queen which is a really sultry kind of purple color and also added that to the inner and outer corners of the lid and as with any good eyeshadow look goes the key is to blend 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 and guys please excuse the look of my brushes I know they are toe up from the flow up including my edges to highlight underneath my brow I used the color golden ochre from the modern renaissance palette and took a clean blending blush to buff that into the transition color I lost a little bit of my eyebrow color so I went back in with some dip brow to clean it up and now onto the start of the show and that would be a foiled shadow by makeup geek this is the color daydreamer which is a pretty soft silvery purple and I packed that foil shadow right into the center of my lid using a eyeshadow brush wet with some fixed plus using that same fluffy blending brush blend in the foiled shadow into your other primary lid colors and moving on to the lower lash line I took a thin pencil brush placed down some last dance onto the lower lash line and deepened it with a little bit of the drama queen taking another foiled shadow this is called high wire I used that to highlight the inner tear duct and I didn't want this look to have too heavy of a winged liner so I opted to just place just enough black liner down 
to help conceal the band of my falsies. Next, I want a kind of a wide open look, so I am lining my waterline with a nudish color. This is the color Underground by Urban Decay 24-7. Uh, and I am placing on my mascara, and my falsies of choice for today are by Coco Lashes and the Style Bella. I absolutely love this style of lash. It is drama, 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 and I am loving it. I just used the Duo Lash Glue in the color clear, and clearly I'm feeling myself. Now to finish up the face, I am putting down one of my favorite blushes this is the color love rush which is a really cool toned pink a uh, pinky purple by mac i am setting the rest of my face with my deep dark mineralized skin finish by mac and the main color of choice for today is another mac lipstick and another mac product and this is the uh, color flat out fabulous and that really completes the look i did want to try a dark lip option and for that i used used cyber by a mac and i kind of really do like it though i think for dinner i would probably Probably choose the pink so let me know in the comment section which lip color you prefer and this is the end of the video thank you so much for sticking with me a big warm thank you to Osa for collaborating with me on this video you guys if you enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up so I know you would like to see more content like this from me follow me on all my social media and I'll see you in my next video which should be a little bit something different I'm thinking a fashion haul and with that have a very happy and safe Valentine's Day bye for that.